Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Trophy Room, a PlayStation show made by the players for the players. I am your host, Joseph, and we just got something in the mail that I've been dying to wear for a very long time now. And that is the dual pulse. Mm, I said dual pulse. That's not true. The pulse 3D wireless headset. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the dual sets. Nonetheless, what we're going to do today is we're going to unbox this bad boy right here. And how on unboxings work is everything's already out of the box. I'm showing you step by step what comes inside the box. Then I'm going to put this thing on my fat noggin and give you my first impressions of this headset right here. This goes for 99 US doll hairs. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, let's get to this unboxing, shall we? So here you have the Pulse 3D wireless headset for PS5, for PS4. This is the new headset coming with the PlayStation 5 if you're lucky to get your hands on it. This is one of the most requested items. So when we flip it on over to the side, it says finely tuned for 3D audio on PlayStation 5 consoles. Neato gang. When you turn it over to the back, we see how games were made to sound. Dual hidden microphones enhanced by noise canceling technology. Uh, 12 hours of battery life, easy access to controls, and on the back here, 3.5 millimeter jack, refined ear pads, and a wireless adapter for your PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 4 console. Turn that over to the side again. It says compatible with the PlayStation 5, uh, PlayStation 4, and VR headset. Awesome. Let us open this up. And see what's inside. We usually, you know, usually the boxes are already open, but I found how this headset is actually put together is pretty interesting. And doing it one handed is also pretty challenging. So the first thing you see when you open this box is actually a whole lot of gadgets and gizmos. So let's open this up first. <gasps> Where'd the headset go? Only kidding, that's a joke. Now, over here, <laughs> we have on this side an envelope. It's your instruction manual. Uh, tells you what you can expect with your PlayStation 5. Cool, neato. Uh, but don't insult me because I know I can't read. Next is this stuff. All right. Let's open this bad boy up. See what's inside here. So, you get your charging cable. This is a USB-C to USB-A. You get your 3.1 millimeter jack, which is pretty damn rad. We'll see how long this actually is when we do the final impressions. I put this thing on my noggin. And then, bam, this is the wireless dongle. So that said, let's get into the headsets itself. Hello there. Here it is, the PlayStation wireless headphones in its glory. A lot smaller than I thought these were going to be. I don't know if that's a good thing. A mostly plastic, woo, construction to it. Um, let's put this down right here right now. Headband actually goes upwards, so you don't need to adjust it or anything. Um, and then here it is, your game chat, audio chat, monitor on or off. I'm not gonna pretend that I know what that is yet. Volume control, your mute button, your USB-C port, your 3.1 jack, and of course, the button and microphone right here. Let's place this on my big fat head because this right now to me, whew, I don't know if I like it or not. All right, so here are uh, the, what is it, the dual pulse, uh, headset all in its glory um right off the bat th this goes for a hundred bucks and maybe i am a little spoiled by the steel series um which is for 50 bucks more you get that nice metal construction around the headband but i don't know how i feel about these also feels very very tight right here on the headband that's what she said i guess all right listen Done being immature, let me put this on my big fat noggin and see how I like it. Okay. Okay. This, I, I get it now. This feels very, very light on your head. And as you can see, 
have been working pretty well. Um, I don't feel the tension that I once felt. I do feel the ear pads uh, making a pretty good seal around my big dumb noggin, as you can see over here. Um, it's going to look pretty nice. Now, I do have concerns, though. All the controls are back here. And with the previous uh, gold headsets, it got a little confusing back there, right? So I'm very curious to see how this is going to work when I'm in my games and how it's going to immerse me or take me out of the experience. But for $100 so far, I don't know about the build quality yet, but they are relatively comfortable. Um, so that's a plus over there. And again, I really am starting to dig the headbands uh, around headsets rather than the you know weird notch things around the side. But again, so far... They're pretty damn comfortable. Uh, so, yeah, my initial thoughts, my initial impressions is, honestly, a lot smaller. Ear pads are very, very light. Um, overall, this thing's very, very light. I don't know why this just has a very small old piece of film around it. But, yeah, um, I'm still a little bit unsure. Uh, we get the pleather ear piece. This is something that I'm going to very much need to review a bit heavily on. And again, maybe it's because I've been using Steel Series for the past year now, but honestly, I think a head to head somewhat comparison between both these headsets, that's another video I think that'll be coming soon. Uh, but overall, yeah, um, they're light. <laughs> uh, I don't know about the build quality yet. I'm going to have to get back to you guys on that. So with that said, these are my first impressions, my raw immediate reactions. Should you be running out to get these really hold off for review, not just on my channel, but anywhere that you see these do your research before because headsets to me are the most important accessory. So if you like some truthiness, head on over to the trophy room, a PlayStation show on YouTube. Put down your questions below, because when I do a re review on this, I will be trying my best to answer as many questions as I can. Uh, with that said, if you liked this unboxing, please hit like, share, subscribe. It helps me out, grows this big, beautiful family that I call home over here at the Trophy Room. And if you want some positive and thoughtful PlayStation content, really hit subscribe, where you get to see unboxings like these, reviews, PlayStation news, a PlayStation podcast called The Trophy Room, a podcast made by the players for the players that premieres on YouTube and other podcast services around the globe each and every Thursday. So with all that said, with all that out of the way, everybody, keep it what's about you. Check out my DualSense Impressions hands-on unboxing video and keep playing PlayStation. I'll see you guys.